All right. So first and foremost, I do hope they come out with that hound. I, I want Polarium to release the hound to to let the dogs out, whichever dog or dogs that they were talking about with the FOMO. But it's been quite a bit. It's been quite of a. It's been quite a while since we've heard anything, any single update since the Packmaster Shyak fusion, and a lot of people were convinced to go for Packmaster on the illusion not illusion the illusion that they were going to uh release a uh, a dog now they said that it might happen so technically speaking yes polarium is hands off and they don't really have to hold responsibility because they used key words that alleviates them from any actual obligations but still people did the fusion they spent the time resources whatever that whole spiel um, to go ahead, to go ahead and go for Packmaster, um, and, and you know this came out, I think after they saw that a lot of people weren't really feeling Packmaster. They were kind of like, oh well, I guess people aren't really going for this fusion. We should probably tell them that hey, by the way, there might be a dog coming out in the fu in the future. I want you guys to get that dog. I want that dog to come out because if that dog is good, who knows. Even I might go for it. If it's a fusion, maybe if it's a uh, you know a guaranteed shard, maybe it's a void, or you know we, we can speculate left and right about it. But the fact of the matter is, is it's still a while. <laughs> it's still a while, like a long while, and they haven't said anything about it. So, you know, and, and I had people telling me, you know, oh, you know, well, you know, they can't they can't um, pop out these these champions and make fusions or make make champions. But then they go ahead and they release all these as guardians and then fusions and they update the game, they update the champions and they they rebalance all these champions and you know that that's all good, that's all great and that's fine and dandy, but like and then they fix the U or not the fix the UI but they updated the entire UI of the game, and it's just kind of like you don't think they could have just thrown in champ. I mean they made four new champions in the span of however many long like a month or two after. Um, Packmaster, I mean, they did another fusion on top of that. So I get where that other guy, whoever said that in one of my comments, um, you know, whoever said that, I, I get where he's coming from. Yeah, I don't know what it takes to make a game. I don't know what it takes to make characters. But at the same time, I'm seeing them do all this other stuff. And I'm pretty sure if they wanted to, they could prioritize something that they told people was likely to happen. Again, they didn't promise us anything. Sure, I get it. But again... We're, we're dialing back to they alluded to it. They heavily encouraged people to do uh, to do it because, hey, we we could come out with somebody who's gonna pair well with him. So yeah, I hope they come out with it. But let's see what people are saying. Seven hours ago, historical pitch three two four says so about those hounds that were going to follow Packmaster Shayek. They ain't coming, are they? I've been hoping for Fenrir, given the Norse gods tie-in, but my hopes have been ignored. This would have been perfect. This would have been good. Hey, they made four new champions. They made a fusion on top of that. Since Packmaster, I think. Or whatever his name was, Scored, whatever. They could have totally done this too. That would have been perfect. Make a void legendary freaking dog to pair with Packmaster Shyak. That would have been perfect. The timeline would have been um, would have been um, you know, set up proper and people would have shut up about the dog. But it been ignored. Don't worry, Polarium. I'm used to it. Goddamn. Same. If they don't make Fenrir the Halloween fusion, just another gigantic L for Polarium. True. What if? And I'm hoping. I'm hoping. That would be cool. That would be so cool. Halloween fusion is a dog. Any dog at this point. I just want a dog. It seems they completely forgot about it as it was only FOMO. They didn't even do a soul event. It wouldn't surprise me if they release a dog champion in the future and forget about the Shyak interaction altogether. <laughs> Though ironically, Shyak has been one of the most game-changing fusions for me without dogs. Interesting. He enables my Shogun 25 comp, and I use him in Hydra both with Wix and Whisper on tank weeks, all without having to change his build. Cool. I like that. I like when people are able to find a use for a champion, like... I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I don't know. Give, give me an example. Somebody give me an example that that wasn't a popular opinion, an, an off-meta champion that everyone was like, "Oh, uh, it's not going to be a good champion," and boom, you're you're doing something with it. I'll I'll, th- I'll think of something. Well, yeah, the Miss Soul event was was sad because those five stars would be huge since he needs both accuracy and res. Uh, true. Fi- so is he so good? Just pop them in sh- uh, shards and summon rush. Don't know if he's worth investing in. Depends on if you need him need him or not. He's not S tier among affinity champions very versatile can be built for slow taunt looping or fast for consistent block debuffs hex and single target death down uh let's go on adding mesmel and brachus as hounds would have helped true the sausage uh, lizard and the thunder dog high elves dog orcs don't have a banner for their oh orcs don't have their banner lord yet i wonder if it'll be a hound i hope not because the prism shards being such a pain to get but i wouldn't be surprised either I'm hoping that that's the case because one, it'd be hilarious, and two, I would have called that shit. Doubt it. They couldn't even they couldn't even do elephant for fact lord for fact lord for skinwalkers when it was so obvious. I don't think I should read these threads that kind of connect to the main post because they kind of go off track sometimes. So I'm gonna so like if it doesn't if it doesn't connect, I'm not gonna focus on it it'll probably if you uh, be a fusion after the norse god stuff is over at this point yeah that's good that, that's an optimistic thinking and I, i'm all for it I, I hope after the norse god as guardian shits over that they come out with a dog if their kid is good it'll probably be probably be a progressive only chance at this point a huge miss on their part that they didn't tie in fenrir as a twofer that would have been perfect right unless you can think of a different reason why they didn't do it because that would have been perfect. They would have killed like two dogs and one stone, or two two birds and one stone. Asgardian and Shite connections. It's an easy layup. Players would love it. They already set it up. Seems like a win for everybody, including Palam's bank account. Exactly. They will come, just not now. There is a roadmap, but it's not publicly listed, and it doesn't include any mutts. So Vault Packmaster for now. So this guy is saying there is a roadmap. Pe- people are uh, people apparently are seeing a roadmap that I don't know about. Uh, I mean, that was all speculation. They didn't promise or hint at anything. No, they they did. They they did promise and they did hint. They alluded to heavily. So it wasn't speculation. It was from Polarium's mouth themselves. They said it themselves. Hey, go for this fusion. Like not word for word, but basically, if you translate it, they said, "Hey, go for this fusion because we might do something for you guys later that actually makes Packmaster really good." And the ability is clearly written with specific dogs, not dog type champions. I think this was wishful thinking from the community with nothing really to back it up. <laughs> Did he even? Here, in Polarium's own words, by the way, if you're not impressed, and again, they said by the way because they saw people weren't doing the fusion, I think, because the fusion came out and then people were like, eh, I don't want to go for it, whatever. And then a few days later or whatever, they came out with this message saying, by the way, if you're not impressed with the current roster of loyal hounds, just wait. Packmaster Shike is always on the lookout for new members to add to his pack. Uh, who knows what beast will join his side next? It's not just baseless speculation. There you go. Speak, bro. Polarium very much implied there will be another hound at some point. Exactly. So where, where, where's his response? Plant Lever, where's your response here? Honestly, there's a few champions that could have been included already. Exactly. So much time has passed. There could have been a few champions already included the common and uncommon dog champs aren't included for a reason mesomel and brachus already canine shaped even if they're not using the same skeleton as other dog champions it's simply a quote from a forum not official news what the hint is too subtle to speculate it was announced yeah it's, a, it's an announcement it's an announcement by polarium regardless of where it's posted bro what, what are you saying right now it, it came from polarium's mouth it wasn't wishful thinking. Polarium said it could actually apply to future champions. Exactly. Totally agree. Uh, even exists common champions that uh, has hound spelled in its name, but it doesn't stack with Shayek. There was never a real reason to expect a new hound in the first place. It was unlikely from the beginning for many reasons, including a simple legendary hound with a strong Aeon would be insanely overpowered with Shayek. Why would a legendary hound obey the master of the same rarity? Actually, not all hounds that already exist stack with Shayek. Saying that I actually fused Shayek and use him because he's very strong as it is. All right. Look at all these downvotes this guy's getting. Um, Jeez, dude. 
Well, there is a real reason because Polarium said there was possibly a reason, right? The fact, or him saying it was unlikely, yeah, I can see that being unlikely, which is something else that I I'd said when I was going over Packmaster. I was like, you know, um, Polarium says a lot of things, and sometimes it's like talking to a genie sometimes, right? Or uh, like a like one of those genies or fairies that grant wishes, but like they don't grant wishes in the exact way that you think it's going to happen or whenever it does happen. It, Polarium is always just like, yeah, we'll grant your wish, kind of, in our way, in our own timeline. So yeah, it's unlikely we're going to get what we want specifically in the way and in the timeline, in, in the timeline that we want it, but still. Um, did you just say that makes no sense because a Lego hound would not listen to a master who was a Lego? Dude, it's just a video game. I just, <laughs> I don't know, dude. How does your brain even go there? Aside, <laughs> aside from all that sage wisdom, the raid team did say um, that quote, that Shyag is looking for new people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Was never in the official news. A quote from the forum. Community just wants to believe in stuff. Who writes the forum, chief? You mean Polarium's forum? You mean the forum that's on Polarium's website? From Polarium, posted by Polarium? Uh, they should never release it in no 100% lead people. Yeah, exactly. They sh There was no reason to, sus to expect it. Oh, well, no, there was a reason to expect it. But yes, they never should have included it in his release notes. They 100% led people to believe that there would be future releases that would work with him. And that's that's the big issue here, right? That's the biggest issue. That's the biggest issue. They 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 alluded to it and there's no update on it they didn't the hint that shag looks for new hounds is actually taken from the f this fucking guy there's no legendary dog they could release that would be overpowered as marishka and taras's attack ally al ally attack a1 i'd assume a legendary dog would be slightly above makage and obro tier yeah uh tarish and Mar tarishka are overpowered surely okay your logic is funny my uh, shag's a complete different character. your logic is funny nut is both non-void and fusion best pvp -er. admit you hate dogs <laughs> i don't hate do <laughs> what the fuck is this guy i don't hate dogs i fused shyak so i think this is one of those guys that i mean i don't know but he's always talking about i don't know it's it, it has nothing to do with anything uh, is, is it is it one of those like part of me is thinking like oh because he said multiple times i fused shyak so maybe he's just like trying to validate himself or like you, you ever do something wrong and then you try to convince yourself that it's okay well maybe not i don't i, don't, I guess i don't really see i don't know what i'm saying anymore Just forget it uh so this goes on but yeah what do you guys think you think it's gonna happen after asgard 